Reality TV star Kelly Osbourne has made striking allegations about a rogue sector of the rehab industry that she says is fueling the addiction crisis by pushing users towards relapse. The 39-year-old TV personality and daughter of Black Sabbath legend Ozzy Osbourne, herself a recovering addict with numerous rehab visits under her belt, claims she picked up tricks to mask her addiction within rehabilitation centers. She also accuses some in the industry of deploying body brokers who lurk outside recovery meetings looking to coax the vulnerable into relapsing, thus ensuring their return to paid programs. During an appearance in TMZ Investigates Matthew Perry and the Secret Celebrity Drug Ring, Osborne revealed, Body brokers, they'll sit outside of AA meetings and looking for weak and vulnerable people that they encourage to go and relapse so they can then pick you up again. I swear on everything that it's true, and it's heartbreaking. She also spoke about her own time in rehab, admitting it taught her to be a better drug addict. And she also claimed to have seen rehab staff giving drugs to users to stop them from leaving. She recounted, First rehab I went to was like university on how to be a better drug addict. I learned so many tricks, so many things that I never even thought of from my fellow addicts that were in there. But I also seen people threaten to leave unless they were given what they wanted. Whether it be Ambien for sleep or Valium for nerves, they would somehow end up getting it. And they end up giving them whatever it is they've asked for to make them stay. The documentary focuses on the case of late Friends star Matthew Perry, who died last year after suffering a drug overdose after years of battling addiction issues. Perry's assistant Kenny Awamasta and four other people, including two doctors, have been arrested and charged in connection with supplying the drugs that killed the actor.